guys, just uh, quickly showing you the Slackware 13.37 uh, setup that I have going on. Uh, quickly, just going to talk about um, Conky here. It's a nice little uh, resource monitor. You guys can uh, run it with Alt F2 and then just type in Conky and it'll run. Uh, this obviously is not the default setup or layout of how it works. Uh, you will have to edit the uh, config file that comes with it. It'll be in your root system, which is right here, and you got to show hidden folder, so control H will show uh, your hidden uh, folders here. And I have it right here. Let me see where it was. Conky RC. All right, and I had to create this uh, folder in my root uh, folder here, or this file in the root folder, and you can copy the default um, from where it installs. I forget exactly where it is. Anyways, um, I'll show you guys that real quick. <coughs> so I grabbed this off the internet. It's just generic um, layout here, and uh, I had a link in the uh, description of where you guys can grab that. Uh, so my theme here, I'm obviously using VTK and I have it modified with a theme that I found called Logadesk N12R which is the red. They also have different colors, um, blue, green, things like that, but I like the dark with the dark maroon red. Really, really like that. Uh, again, I'll provide a link to that as well so you guys can download that. It's pretty simple to install. Um, I'm running Compass Fusion, as you can see here, and uh, it allows me to do the 3D desktop, which everybody loves to do, and uh, pretty simple to uh, set up. I opted out of having, as you can see here, a window decorator, such as Emerald, because it was very buggy and wouldn't work properly. It kept crashing my system. So I just uh, used Compass and set it up to where I can hold down my super key, which is my Windows key and then left click to move my windows and I get the wobbly windows and everything just like you would expect with Compiz. Um, to resize I just hit Alt F8 and it allows me to move my windows around. Uh, F11 allows me to go full screen or go back to where I was. So you may think at first that it's a hindrance not having the little X and everything up there but honestly I like this much better. <coughs> I'm going to open up one more uh, thing here. I also do have the Super Key Tab uh, application switcher, which allows me, I believe they call it the ring switcher, which allows me to uh, switch between these guys like this, which is really nice. So I'm going to close these with Alt F4 because that's uh, the easiest way to close them out. And I am going to show you the layout here like this. It's pretty simple to set up. Uh, I am running an older system. It is a uh, Intel Dual Core 1.83 gigahertz uh, processor with four gigs of RAM, 250 gig hard drive, running NVIDIA GeForce 8400 MGS, which is a standard laptop uh, graphics card. It can handle 1080p just fine, um, even with uh, Compiz and uh, FFmpeg recording. It's not too bad. It's a little slow. Uh, just because I do have everything going on at once, but uh, when I'm not recording anything, it plays perfectly fine, even without having to wait for it to load or anything like that. Alright, so we are going to uh, switch over here real quick. Now, uh, as I just mentioned a few seconds ago, I am using FFmpeg to record this with my audio. Now, just a quick note on audio. The ALSA config does not recognize my card, which it doesn't recognize a lot of the cards. I'm running a Realtek HD audio. I think it's the ACL uh, 268 or 268 or something like that. Um, but it says it can't find anything. So, not to worry because ALSA mixer still works and allows me to set my audio levels. I think I'm supposed to spell that one right. Can't see, I got all my lights turned off here. So I can turn everything up, and it recognizes that it is HDA, or yeah, HDA Intel, the uh, 268, okay. Uh, it allows me to do my captures and everything just fine. Um, close that out. And uh, so I tried GTK to record my desktop, and it didn't work. 
so I tried XFID, it didn't work. So I just said screw it, I downloaded FFmpeg, and I already had all the libraries and everything when I installed VLC uh, to run FFmpeg because I installed VLC with every library enabled. Uh, so it took a little bit of time to do that because again with Slackware you have to uh, either compile from source or use a Slack build or something like that to get it to go and there are a lot of libraries uh, that you can have with it but I uh, spent about an hour doing it so it wasn't too bad anyways I created this nice little executable shell script here called record and what it does <coughs> it's got a little bash script up here to uh, allow me to run it it's just an ffmpeg script that I pass on and uh, as you can see here, it runs ALSA for my audio, which it forces FFmpeg, which uh, standard only uses one channel to use two channels for the audio because I am using a stereo mic. Uh, my default sound card is HW00. You can find that out by typing in, I believe it's A record dash L, and it'll tell you what your sound card is. Uh, then you have your screen capture, uh, 30 frames a second resolution. Uh, video card, I'm using uh, lame mp3 as my audio codec, the H.264 uh, codec for video, and I am using AVI as my output. Now let me close that out real quick, we'll open up some other terminal, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with the A record dash L. Oops, L. So you can see here I have it set to card 0. Intel HDA Intel and it has one such device uh, so or actually I have, sorry no sub device <coughs> anyways whatever that is how you get it and set it to uh, either HW00 HW10 uh, depending on if your card is card 0 or card 1 if you have a sub device such as a microphone or something like that uh, you can do 0, 1, 1, 1, depending on how your setup is. So, uh, as far as that, that wasn't too bad to get set up. It did take a little bit of research to figure out exactly uh, what options I needed to pass to FFmpeg to get this to work properly. Um, as far as extras, though, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory if you're a Slackware, Slackware user from the past. Uh, Slack builds, repositories, things like that. Um, I like to download everything off of slackbuilds.org and uh, it's just so easy because all you do is extract the slack build then move the source code into that uh, shamod and make the slack build executable, execute it, create the package, move that package to the temporary folder and then use install package to uh, get it to actually install onto the system. Uh, I'm running XAMPP uh, which is a server Apache server, PHP, MySQL, all that fun stuff. Pretty easy to set up. Um, development, Bluefish Editor, NetBeans. Uh, use this quite a bit. I don't like Eclipse that much. Um, graphics, just the basic graphics that came with this. Uh, as I said before, VLC Media. Uh, these two I still got to remove. Network, I did install FileZilla because I do do quite a bit of web development. Uh, Firefox, I'm still using the standard 4.0 that came with it. We'll have to upgrade that. Um, also, remember you need to install the Flash Player um, into the plugins folder for Firefox. <coughs> um, the Wix Manager, uh, that was a little difficult to get set up because at first there was a dbus error. Uh, I had to go and edit a few files and eventually got it working. Uh, use Qubit Torrents, um, pretty useful. Uh, the WPA GUI didn't work for me for whatever reason. Um, I don't know why, but uh, I am running a WPA2 system here at my house, as you can see here, WPA2, and so I opted for the Wix manager there. Uh, what else do I have on here? <coughs> I think that's pretty much uh, it. Uh, World of Warcraft didn't install properly. I am using Wine. Uh, I did get the 64-bit version of uh, Linux on here, of Slackware which if you plan on running things like Wine, if you don't do the Wine 64, you need to uh, install, I think Alien Bob had a thing on it, um, about how to make it to where you're running 32 and 64 bit at the same time, which is what I'm doing, so I don't have to worry about it. <coughs> uh, pretty useful, actually. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my lack, or Slackware system, not Lackware system, and it is 5 o'clock in the morning, that's why I'm talking in gibberish. Alright guys, um, I hope you liked the video, and uh, hopefully you don't have any issues setting up your system. Uh, again, the sound is a little buggy, uh, but just type in AOL, ALSA Mixer and it should pop up. Uh, the internet is a little tricky to get set up if you're new to this. Um, <coughs> and then actually learning how to install things on the system can be a little bit tricky if you're new as well. But uh, again, Slack Builds makes it very easy. So does uh, the repositories and uh, just through compile and all that fun stuff. So, alright guys, take it easy. Um, I'll talk to you later. And if I can find out where I put the freaking thing. Where did it go? Can't find. Oh, 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 there it is. <laughs> Alright, guys, take it easy. Um, I'm going to bed now.